Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Naramek, welcome back to more of Persona 5 Royal. Last time we went to the school festival and Sojiro figured out that we are in fact members of Phantom Thieves. So with that said... Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Futaba's up here, so uh, what have you got to say? Sorry. It's my fault. All this happened because I kept the calling card. <sighs> it's so late already. Uh, is Sojiro still awake? This is kind of awkward. Go home and he'll worry. Um... Yeah, I'll say go home. I'm gonna go home. Night. And with that, can we have a night to ourselves? Nah, okay. The cat is demanding we go to sleep. So, uh, yeah. See where the day takes us then. I was gonna make this a mementos episode, but I realized I don't think we have a chance, uh, given. Um, we're still in the middle of some plot heavy that details. The speech given by Representative Masayoshi Shido, who may be forming a new party. <sighs> We now resume our coverage of the Phantom Thieves, the suspects for Mr. Okumura's death and others. The police have designated the Phantom Thieves as the country's most wanted fugitives, and have decided to reward anyone with information leading to the capture of the Phantom Thieves. Look. Those who provide information will be offered a reward of 30 million yen. And considering the high amount, it shows how extraordinary the situation has become. Reward money will be supplied by the police and the families of the victims. Further, if I report you to the police and they arrest you, I supposedly get 30 million yen for it. That's insane. I hope you understand the situation you're in. Even people who didn't have an interest before will be on the lookout for the phantom thieves. And it'll happen every day, even at school. Why did this happen? I'm sorry, there was no choice, I didn't know it would. Um, I'm gonna say I didn't know it would, because we didn't. I see. Well, how do I put this? I'm sorry I didn't realize it. It's also my responsibility that this happened. All I can do now is give you shelter. Just don't become desperate and do something reckless, all right? Don't worry. I won't sell you out. As long as you're here, there's nothing to worry about. I feel bad about what we've done to the chief. I'm responsible too. Did you see that reward? <laughs> Perhaps we put too much pressure on them. With this, the Phantom Thieves have become public enemy number one. <laughs> exactly. That will be when their curtain falls. Hey, great! I can't believe how big this bounty is. We should look at the Phantom Feet ourselves. I can't just suggest that they go to this school, right? Yeah, but what's not? There's been too many male shutdowns as it is. It'll probably be the end of us if we start sniffing around now. Yeah, but 30 million yen, man! Just let me dream a little. Ooh, yeah, he wasn't wrong. Public enemy number one. Okay, who's a ringing? Yo, you see the news? I brace myself for this possibility. It actually feels weird having one in notice out for us. I'm not sure we're gonna get away this time. Our back's truly against the wall now. Discussing it here won't do us any good, though. Let's talk more in person. Aha, do I smell a team meeting coming along then? Yeah. We're wanted now, and the reward's 30 million yen? What is this, a comic book? <laughs> it feels so unrealistic, I can't help but laugh. We are finally being treated as actual criminals. I'm positive now. Remember all of those what-ifs I mentioned before? All of this was truly set up. How President Okumura ranked first, the fad before that, even Medjed. It was all to make the Phantom Thieves famous. On top of that, we were lured to target Okumura. Yeah, the enemy likely planned to lay the blame on us from the start, after we gained popularity. Then what about everything we've done until now? Are the people whose hearts we changed and thought were corrupt actually not? No, because of Yusuke and I, the Matarame and Kanashiro cases were coincidental. Wasn't that the case with Kamashita too? Considering what happened with the rankings, only the previous target would have been used to lure us. What a cheap trick to use. Cheap? 
It's nothing of the sort. There's the fake Medjad and the site's altercation. They might have even engineered the fat around us. So much time and effort has been put into this. President Okumura probably wasn't their only target. Perhaps they intend to place all blame of past and future psychotic breakdowns on our group. That's why I said we shouldn't jump into things so carelessly. What, so this is my fault? Even you agreed to it in the end. And there was that thing with Haru at the time. How are we supposed to ignore that, huh? I'm sorry. This was all because I one-sidedly decided that my father was a criminal. All I could think about was my fiancé. If I had only been able to cope with it more calmly... Haru? It's not Haru's fault. I should have spoken up too when Principal Kabayakawa died. Damn it! This is bullshit! God! Fuck! Ryuji! Taking out your frustration on things doesn't help anyone! Hey... What do you think? Why did we lose? What did we do wrong? They baited us. It's probably because... We weren't acting like ourselves. Agreed. At the time, we only cared about the opinion of the general public. Yeah... That really is it. I was... So caught up in making a name for ourselves. I'm such an idiot! I became a phantom thief because I hated those same kinds of adults! To think we had begun clinging onto fame and a place to belong that our eyes had become clouded. We were meant to be the righteous phantom thieves, but we lost sight of our original cause. I'm so irritated with myself. Makoto... Damn it! I know that we've been set up, and that I was a complete idiot too, but still... It's so damn frustrating! Of course I want to do something about this! Yeah. We'll be in deep water at this rate. However, we have no idea who we're up against. And whether they're an individual or an organization. Furthermore, they must be in a position of power. Or have powerful backers if they can go so far. Are we really a match for this? Should we... end this now? I mean, things might get worse for everyone. Hey, what should we do? We'll overcome this. We haven't lost yet. Let's turn the tables. Yeah, running away with our tails between our legs is exactly what they want. We'd be dumping everything we stand for just to save our own asses. I see. Take back what I just said! I can't let it end like this! Absolutely not like this! Looks like we're settled on what we want to do. All that's left is how we go about it. Yeah. Hey, uh, it's me. Um, about me yelling earlier, being framed, and the added bounty... It all felt like such bullshit. I lost it. I, I'm sorry. I don't mind. I get how you feel. You too? It is confusing. We're wanted criminals now. Maybe I haven't changed at all since that time we went up against Kamoshida. I wanted to be a Phantom Thief because I thought even someone like me could be a hero. It made me so happy to be depended on. Guess it all went straight to my head. I thought I could do anything if it was for justice. But that'd make me no different from our targets. I called them shitbags, but I must be the shittiest of shitbags. I can't even joke about it. You can still change. <laughs> You're right. I can start by changing who I am now. Thanks. I feel like I can think straight now. Oh, I scared Haru and Futaba, didn't I? I'll have to apologize to them soon. See ya. I got a message from Akechi-kun. He wants us to gather at LeBlanc tomorrow after school. Who does he think he is, trying to boss us around like that? Tomorrow? That's sudden. This is directly after the reward announcement. There must be a calculated reason for this, too. We'll be okay, right? We'll manage. Yeah, we're gonna overcome this together. 
Regardless, I don't want anyone disturbing our pace anymore. We'll go about this calmly. Well, see you all tomorrow. We've reached a crucial moment. There's no point fretting about it now, though. Let's just stay calm and wait for tomorrow. Okay. okay. So, we can't let things end here. We need to figure out who's behind everything. I agree. You're gonna send me straight to bed? You're not? Okay, can we head out and about? Nah, I'm stuck inside. Makes sense. Um, do we have a new DVD, actually? Did, did I remember to pick one up last episode, or am I dumb? We'll have to find out. Oh. I'm gonna watch a DVD. Nah. Still have tea. Okay, well. I guess we'll go back to the same old, same old, and raise our social stats. Um, so, out of order, order, and we said we could read a, um, a one-time book and probably finish it because of, like, a weird quirk, so. Night Skies Planetariums, um, Aquarium a Day, um, Popular and Obscure Spots Alike. Uh, we'll read that. Make sure you close up. We'll skip through it, and then I think it gives me the option to read an extra paragraph, so. Um, hey. So that's unlocked a new place on our map, then. Nakano. Okay. All and right. we can head further along, can't we? <sighs> oh, never mind then. Um, I thought it a lot of reason in the book, given we can read a double pace, but yeah, fair enough. An issue in which criminals do whatever they want under the name of justice cannot be left alone. Only now does the government speak of taking countermeasures, but their actions are too little, too late. The government as it stands has been left behind the times. It is obsolete. We don't have to go down with a sinking ship. We have the power to change this. Let us end this chaos through my hands and yours. He's a politician of the ruling party, isn't he? I heard they're splitting up to form a new party, so an election might come before the year's end. I'm gonna vote this time for sure. This man has my support. You haven't voted until now? That's problematic as a member of society, you know. Politics just never interested me before. But this politician seems pretty amazing. He's passionate and thinks of the future. I mean, someone like that should be prime minister. I'm definitely voting for him. Well, I suppose that makes sense, since the other politician seems so unreliable. Hmm. Interesting. When you say that you want us to cooperate with you, what exactly do you intend us to do? That's a good question. But might I have a cup of coffee first? Quit effing around! Please keep this short. There's a bounty for information in addition to the arrest warrant. Those are quite desperate measures. I'm referring to Sai-san's actions. I assume all of you are at your wit's end as well. She must be considerably vexed if she's gone that far. Make headlines with the arrest warrant, then use incentives to get testimonies. It's not a bad method. The police have nothing on us. There's no way they can make an arrest. True. I'm the only one who's ascertained your true identities. However, the groundwork for fabricating testimonies and concocting a culprit are underway. We don't care about that self-gratification. Get on with it! I'll be blunt. I'm thinking of triggering a change of heart in Sai-san. I've already discovered that she has a palace. Huh? Really? Is this to prevent the investigation agency's recklessness? Precisely. Still, there's no need to change your heart just for that. Indeed. It's hard to believe that a single person can fabricate all that. Unfortunately, that's not the case. What if I told you that those around her would turn a blind eye to false evidence? You saying the police would do such a thing? It seems they're more trusted than I thought. Their priority is settling the situation. They don't care who the supposed culprit is. No! You're completely rotten! My objective is to find the true culprit. That must be the case for all of you, too. However, the current situation is extremely bad. If worse comes to worst, someone unrelated will be set up as the culprit, huh? Our only solution to this is to make Sai-san come to her senses. If she's in her right mind, she can stop this situation. Her sense of justice wouldn't allow it. 
So that's why... The truth will be covered up. And an innocent civilian's life will be destroyed. I can't allow such a thing to happen. My own ethics won't stand for it. I mean... I guess I can understand how you feel. And changing Sai-san's heart will be to protect her as well. How do you mean? If the true culprit were to learn that she's responsible for the investigation, what would happen? I'm certain they'll aim for her life. She's the perfect target to place blame on the Phantom Thieves. So how about it? Will you agree to my plan? Even though you're particular about being just, you're willing to get your hands dirty? It can't be helped in order to ascertain the truth. There is also one more merit in changing Sai-san's heart. She'll be a fine warning to others not to meddle with you any further. They can't go public if someone in the investigation has a change of heart. It'd show their corruption. All that's left from there is for me to discover the identity of the true culprit. <sighs> what do you mean? You're gonna tell us to announce our disbandment once the real culprit is arrested, aren't you? As expected from Anijima. So, what do you say? I don't think it's a bad deal for either of us. Makoto, what's your take on all this? It's a well-made plan. It even takes putting an end to our team into consideration. I'm flattered to hear that. Why are you willing to do all this, Akechi-kun? Why do you seek justice? Because of sickening human beings. Yes. My contempt for such people drives my sense of justice. It isn't some grand reason like society's sake or some lofty ideal. It's simply an absurd grudge. And extremely personal. Dude. You know, doesn't he remind you of us? True. Yeah, like how some disgusting adult pissed him off. We're similar, hmm? Maybe that's why I thought that I could ask this of you all. Won't you cooperate with me on the mission to change Sai-san's heart? We will. Thanks. <laughs> I was actually rather worried there. This mission can't succeed without your cooperation, after all. The Phantom Thieves will be disbanded, and everything will work out. I pray it does. Mako-chan. I'm okay. I never brought it up until now. But the reason I joined the Phantom Thieves is because I wanted to change my sister's heart. I was hoping I wouldn't have to resort to it, though. I've also known for quite some time that she has a palace. Why didn't you tell us? It was too selfish of a reason. Though I was too scared to look any further into it on my own. Why don't we try going there now to scope the place out? A lot of this will be new to me. So I'd like to get myself accustomed to it, too. I I'm sorry. I actually have plans today. I see. That's unfortunate. Will you tell your sister about this? Of course not. It's just... You seem awfully evasive today. Is something the matter? I just can't make time today. Let's call it a day, then, and resume this tomorrow. I'm sorry, everyone. Isn't Makoto acting a bit weird? This is about her sister. Well, I guess that can't be helped. Regardless, it all starts tomorrow. I hope this goes well. Oh, look at how little it's ticking forward and it's like, oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Yeah. In me? Not only that, Goro Akechi? Then the Phantom Thieves targeted me as per his advice? And he had already experienced the metaverse by the time of the Okumura case? That can't be. I mean, he never said a word. Although, his attitude did change suddenly around that time. Akechi couldn't kept quiet about the most important details, and my own sister may be a Phantom Thief? If this is all true, I was out of the loop the entire time I led the investigation. What a joke. 
So you became convinced of another's existence through the two mental shutdown cases. And if you were apprehended while falsely accused of those crimes, that villain would still be loose. That's why you targeted me? Not for your own preservation? That's right. That does make sense, more or less. If you simply wanted to evade capture, triggering my change of heart wouldn't guarantee anything. Your actions as phantom thieves would still be met with hostility. <sighs> no. If this villain does exist and is setting up your group, I would be targeted next. Did Makoto come up with that speculation? I don't remember. <laughs> Perhaps I'm overthinking things. Hey, you need to keep your focus. It seems you're completely worn out, but the look on your face isn't one of defeat. Why is that? I haven't lost yet. I'm amazed. It seems you can still talk. When you were arrested, a man at the scene told you that you were sold out, correct? Those words normally hint at the existence of a traitor. However, if your story till now is true, one reason can be concluded. It's frustrating to admit, but at a certain point... No, most likely from the start. I was a mere puppet. Someone set up only to bear responsibility later. Someone intended your arrest, and the minimal staff directly involved were in their pocket. And if that's the case, true integrity would side with you. Sai is slowly starting to accept the truth. I feel that my bond with Sai is growing deeper. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Rank six? Don't mind if I do. No, I'm jumping to conclusions. I don't believe your story yet. There's something I need to confirm with you. Was a change of heart triggered in me? What happened in the time between entering my palace and your arrest? Tell me everything. The summary of the story up to this point has been updated. To read, press Y to open the menu, and then select Story from under the System option. As if we do that. Be real. What's this favor you need? It's late already. We'll be going to Nijima's palace, so I want to look into her. Things like her work ethic and relationships. It doesn't matter whether it's public or private. Those would help us come up with countermeasures in case we hit a roadblock in her palace. I can look up more, you know. Stuff like her repertoire of underwear. A girl shouldn't say things like that. You tell her too. Don't do that. But also, what else can you dig up? Well, like her history with men. We are phantom thieves! Ahem. <laughs> also, I may be overthinking it, but my voice... Ow! Same as always. Let me finish first! <sighs> There's something else we want you to look into. Seems like the game's keeping some stuff secret from us from now. Mmm, okay. Spooky. Now for today's train news. First off, the investigation team has announced new progress in the search for the Phantom Thieves. Secondly, the opposition party has submitted a vote of no confidence regarding the current cabinet. That alongside the legislator Shido's plan for a new party has sparked fears of government disbandment. I don't like the Shido fellow. He seems mean. Alright, anyway, who's a calling? <laughs> Where are we meeting today? Oh, right. We were never told where to meet up. At the courthouse. <laughs> Where's that? In the government office district. Kasumagesuke. Indeed. <laughs> oh, I've never heard of that place. Never been there, though. Me neither. It's not somewhere normal people usually go. Whoa, just looking at the map is impressive. The police department, Ministry of Justice, Public Prosecutor's Office, and Public Security. The Diet Building is right near there too. For real? What kind of scary place are we going to? We won't get caught, right? According to Akechiko and our identities haven't been discovered yet. So how are we going to plunge headfirst into enemy territory? Has anyone contacted Akechi? We're gonna meet him there. Be on guard, everyone. We'll be like heading into a lion's den. True. Can make sure that we don't get um 
torn to pieces. Because that would be bad. So this is the courthouse. You can tell it's a revolting building just by looking at it. Let's hurry up and get started. Akechi, what did you find out? I rarely get to see Sai-san directly, but I figured out her course of action. On the 20th, an investigation will likely be done at Shujin Academy, as well as the Sakura residence. For real? Then that means our time limit is November 20th. Still, there will be quite a bit of red tape involved. I doubt it'll take place before the 20th. We'll take your word. For now, we need to focus on infiltrating her palace. I concur. And we should probably get going soon. After all, people like us standing around here is quite unnatural. Well then? <gasps> That's... Huh? What about my smartphone? You're so lucky. I'm so sorry. Until recently, Futaba was actually a... Uh, well... It's okay. Sai-san told me the gist. Oh, right. Akechi-kun, it may be best if you exchange contact info with everyone, too. Not just me. That's true. Ooh! <sighs> I'll send everyone's contacts to you later. Thanks. <laughs> well then, I hope we get along. I'll do my best. You've got a good personality and good looks? Talk about cheating. She's praising you, I believe. Then shall we get started? We need to figure out what Makoto's sis thinks this courthouse is, right? I often hear her call it a place of competition in which she must always win. A competition, huh? That sounds like Sai-san. It'd be unbearable if you were put on trial for a reason like that. Although, a competition means it's a match of some sort. Might it be a martial arts ring? Conditions have not been met. Then, perhaps a stadium? Or maybe an arena? Conditions have not been met. There are other competitions besides fighting and sports. Gambling, then! How about a racetrack for horses? Other than that, there's pachinko, but does that count as gambling? We played cards during the school trip. Conditions have not been met. What else is there? It must be a casino. Candidate found. I definitely see Sai-san in you. <sighs> well, it's time we head in, then. Ho oh, ho! Okay. This is where it gets interesting, I feel. Head right past there and keep a low profile. <laughs> That's it, huh? What's going on here? We are looking at the courthouse, aren't we? Seems like it. Let's go. Right. Everywhere else seems to be a normal cityscape. Isn't that... The police station, yes. I didn't know that the station and the courthouse were next to each other. Our attire hasn't changed. That must mean we aren't considered threats or hostiles yet. Right. Areas outside her courthouse palace must not be worthy of her attention. Wait, I always look like this. I'm special! Besides, I can't do anything in my cat form. The police station's also part of her work area, though, whenever arrests are made for her cases. I've brought her food and belongings when she was sent on loan to the police. We got no business with the cops, right? This might be the metaverse, but I don't want to go in a station. That reminds me. 
He'll need a code name too. Code name? Phantom thieves can't go around using the real names, right? It ain't cool either. Just for reference, what is everyone else's? Skull. Mine's Fox. We pretty much decided on them with how we look, didn't we? What is it, Haru? Uh, oh, it's nothing. Then, perhaps Karasu will be best for me. You know, like a raven. Are your clothes all black or something? The reverse, actually. If our codenames are to hide our identities, wouldn't that be better? Karasu... He'd be the only Japanese-sounding one. Why not go with Crow instead? All right? From here on out, you're Crow. Got it. Now then, let's head into the courthouse. And there it is. God, I I love this track. It's possibly one of my favorite in the whole game. It is. You'll hear me use it in a few other series. This is background music here and there. It is um. Oh, it's good. But uh, yeah, without further ado, let's do this. This is business as usual. First off, we need to find an infiltration route. Okay. Um. So um, I'm fine with that loadout for now, actually. Um. So where should we head then? I'm thinking. Okay, slip in here and head up here. Um, I have to say, this is probably the palace I will be rustiest in. I know I've beat the whole game before, but I know this is... Oh, can we have a slip in the door here? Nah. I jump across here and, um, yeah. Gotta say, I do like how um, this palace has us in our uh, school clothes, the first portion of it. I, I think that's uh, pretty cool, in my opinion. And... Ooh. So, this means we're acknowledged as a threat, correct? Dude. You planning on stealing stuff in that getup? It just means that's what he thinks a rebel looks like. No. This is my mental image of a person who sticks to their justice. Well, I think your mask is more apt for piercing rather than sticking. That aside, the people in here look completely normal. But we're in a flashy casino. There's no doubt this is a palace. Oh, right. Crow doesn't know too much about cognitive beings, does he? Ah, yes. In addition to similar topography, cognitive people exist based on the ruler's perceptions. That probably didn't make much sense because all the fancy terms he was using, huh? In essence, since these look like real people, Saison's view of others is surprisingly undistorted. But considering what I see before me, it's difficult to believe it is not actually a real casino. Not all cognitions are normal, though. In Futaba and Okumura's palaces, we had to battle them. People may look normal, but we should be careful. Particularly of those in positions of power. Is this what you have to go through every time? That's right. Hmm. This is a first for me. I'm somewhat nervous. Just don't slow us down, Crow. I will not allow that to happen. Okay, it's time we head inside. Our deadline for this infiltration is November 20th. Any later and we'll get caught in reality. Of course, we'll need to secure an infiltration route before we send out the calling card. As always. So the calling card wasn't merely for show? It's a necessary step? Will you please stop interrupting? My apologies. Well then. Let's go. Okay, so they really do nervous. kick you in immediately. Um, but I don't think we can do the full infiltration here today, which is, at least in my opinion, quite preferable. Um, because I know this palace is quite long. They purposely split it in half, which I, I, I'm, I'm all for. Um, so I think, uh, honestly, we should be able to get to uh, I th about the halfway mark, I think, in here, which is uh, cool for me. But yeah, and now we're in here, it's very obvious that this is, in fact, the palace where we later get caught. So, uh, you kind of know it's going down by the time you're here, so long as you remember that opening segment, I'd say. But, you know, still pretty good. You, know, you don't know the ride, where the ride's going to take you just yet. Uh, but I do see a vent over here. Smash this open, steal them cufflinks, and in we go. And... Again, I'm not sure how long this section is. I could be very wrong. And it could be like a really long portion, but I think it's quite short. She can see us? Oh, hello. You're after the treasure, are you not? Come on down, and I will tell you where it is. What? 
We're not going to fall for a trick like that. <laughs> it's not a lie. I only wish to do this fair and square. You aren't going to run, are you? We should do as she says. There is no point in hiding any longer. Okay, um, it does feel a bit like a trap, but I mean, what other options do we have, you know? So you've come. The treasure is located on the manager's floor, at the highest point of this building. Why are you telling us this? It's as I said before. I wish to go about this in the fairest manner possible. First, I ask that you come up to my location. We will continue this there. Damn it! Over there! It seems we'll be able to use that elevator to reach higher floors. Come, Joker. Let us pursue her. When about 20 pounds, our access to this elevator is, in fact, not as simple as just pushing a button. Um, well, I will take the safe room, though. You know, it's like, yeah, I gotta get that auto save Ooh. action in, you know? Just in case. But let's see. It's not that easy, is it? Authentication required. Please insert your member's card. Do it. Member's card? Perhaps it bears relation to a player's club of sorts. I can't handle your technical speak. Just give me it straight. Casinos typically have a membership system called a player's club. Some locations even have areas cordoned off for particular ranks of player. Considering the setup of this place, I thought things may be similar here. That'll make this shit simple. Come on, let's join this player thingy. I would agree with you, but... A shadow! As I expected, registration will not be such a simple matter. She must be daring us to challenge the security of this place to make it to her. Here it comes! No need to worry. I'll handle this. I need to prove my worth to you, after all. I have high expectations. I promise to surpass even such lofty hopes as those. Okay, then. So I'm... Well, then. Let us begin. Don't Is it worry. just the two of us? You can leave this one to me. Take them down, Robin Hood. Okay. Uh, so he specializes in curse and bless damage. Well, uh, we'll try bless damage. Um, since Kasumi isn't here. And uh, hmm. oh, okay. Uh, bad day for you, Sky. Um, it's how it is. Uh, we'll try this. I have a feeling that yeah, no, he's gonna resist anything that isn't a catchy. I feel. Uh, but not that that's an issue. Um, I'll try. I'll try curse on him actually. Nah, so he blocks that. Okay, um, so if we were to just simply pull out the... Oh, he has Megidola, okay. Um, kind of went over that part. I guess we'll just bless him again, and... Okay, with any luck, he would have died, but... Nah, can't have everything. Uh, thank you for evading, Yusuke. And I reckon we just, we just blast him with them. And good night, sweet prince. Okay, now please tell me that gave us an obscene amount of XP. I mean, it was okay. It was okay. But, oh, Psy Boost. Don't mind if I do. Um, I think I'll get rid of... Um... Yeah, no, I'm, I'm feeling as though we can probably get rid of Tetra Calm. It might just be me, but I don't think bosses physically attack too much. Um, so, you're not so bad. And I am capable of much more. Now then, let's deal with the shadows quickly. Wait, doesn't it sound like we're going to get ambushed based on what we heard earlier? You're right. I agree. I like to deal with them as quick as we can. But now that we have an infiltration route, I suggest we return for now and prepare. Very well. I trust your experience and judgement. Let us do just that. So, no, I was wrong. Um, the, the infiltration is split into three parts. Um, not that that's an issue. But, who's a ringing? <laughs> Today was truly one surprise after another. I hope we can continue to thrive in our work together. Agreed. We'll need to explain the steps we take, though. That isn't necessary. First we secure an infiltration route, then send the calling card, correct? 
In doing so, the core of the rule's distorted desires will manifest into a physical form. By taking that course, the change of heart will be triggered. I deduce the steps would be something along those lines. A+. Plus. It ain't as easy as it sounds. Don't underestimate this shit. I'm not underestimating anything, I assure you. By the way, Nichima-san's shadow seemed really confident. Yes, there's no knowing what may await. Let's continue cautiously. Very well. You let me know when you enter the palace, yes? Of course. Perfect. I'll be available at any time you need me. That's enough for now. Let's prepare well for the coming task. Ah, yes. My apologies for what's somewhat derailing this conversation. We will be counting on you, Wakechi. Failure is not an option here. Yes. I'll do my best to live up to all of your expectations. The crucial moment's finally here. Give it all you've got. Indeed. Indeed. Now, okay. um, this is a rare opportunity. Let's steal Nijima's heart. But first, things have really been soured. There's even a bounty on you guys. But I seriously believe the Phantom Thieves are innocent. By the way, I changed up the survey question. It's already up in flames, though. It's a problem for me, too, if people don't think the Phantom Thieves are heroes. Just try and clear the stigma on your name as soon as you can, okay? I'm counting on you. So people are turning on us even in his survey? Our popularity is really at an all-time low. Uh-huh. So can we head out and about once again? We are unable to, it seems. Um, so I reckon we just go and finish our book and see where tomorrow takes us. Um, so, Art of Automata, get me through that. Close up. And, uh, yeah. So, Karakuri requires attention to the finest of details. Yeah. They call it Karakuri, but aren't they just dolls? And we're done. What are your thoughts? So, you finished reading the Art of Automata. I thought they were just dolls, but their mechanisms are far more complex than I thought. Now that you know how they work, I'm sure that helps you pay better attention to the details. Mm. Ooh! Okay, that was a really high-pitched thing. That definitely wants to rank up. Oh, that's getting there, yeah. <sighs> well, I guess we should go to sleep. Staying up too late isn't healthy, you know. I agree, Morgana. For once, I agree with your bedtimes. And are the Phantom Thieves innocent? Ooh, 18.5. The time has finally come. No matter what happens, we have to change our heart. Right. I'll be counting on you. We may all have our own unique way of doing things, but we should just proceed forward as usual. Leave it to me. Don't worry, Ren. I trust you. That's why I ask that you lend me your help. Hey! There's no need to get too worked up about this, right? Take as much time as you need to get ready. Anything goes as long as it helps out our mission. You have our trust. You're our leader, after all. Anyway, is Makoto social link available today? That that okay. definitely helps forward the narrative. Definitely. Okay, who's a ringing? So palace. Nah, I'm not feeling it. Um, but Aoyama reach show mate. Oh, I'm feeling a little bit of a hangout there. Don't think I'll push this one over an hour though. I do just want to hang out with Makoto for the sake of the funnies. But who is available inside the school? Haru. Eh, nah. How you doing, Makoto? Hey. Uh, let's hang out. <laughs> Now? Well, I, I guess if that's really what you want to do. Is this part of your grand strategy? Exactly right. I, hm. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to take things a little slower. Oh, Echo said she had a favor to ask, but I've been pushing it off. Do you think you could maybe come to meet me to see her? If we can get closer, we're going to get closer. Of course, we're going to hang out. And now we will see what her issue is. Is something the matter? So, what did you want to talk about? Well, um... I was wondering if you could uh, maybe lend me some cash. <laughs> what? It, it's nothing real, Major. I just need it, like, right now. I'll pay you back, though, honest, please. Does this have to do with Tsukasa? Mm-hmm. He dropped a super expensive bottle of sake at work, so the club's making him pay for it. But he needs help. How suspicious. He's lying to you, Eiko. Don't give him any money. He's not lying. I know you're all weird about the fact Sukasa is a host, but my is not like that. He's really gentle and honest, too. He even calls me princess, so I'm the only one he says that to, you know? It's because he says I'm special. So, he calls you you're his special princess. What do you think, Renkin? He says that to all his girls, that's how he ropes you in, I'm not too sure. That's how he ropes you in. Yes. I have to agree. Every girl who gives him money is his princess. That way he can never get their names mixed up. Don't accuse him of that stuff. You don't have any proof. You're not wrong about that. But did you ask anyone at his club about the broken bottle? Well, uh, no. 
And he told me not to talk to him about it, though. He's too proud of having you crying to his boss. Please, Makoto, you're the only person I can trust. All my other friends would rather focus on cram school and entrance exams than six times help me. And who knows what my parents would say if I tried to ask them. Please, even a little. I think you should end your relationship with him. If you don't put a stop to this, he might try to drag you into some suspicious line of work. Oh, he's already got me a job. It's nothing weird, though. I'm just doing drinks to the bar to help him pay off that broken bottle. He said I'll be number one in no time. Maybe, maybe I'll just keep doing it after I graduate high school, though. I mean, it's not like I'm going to go to college. <laughs> Eiko, you can't just do what he says. He's trying to deceive you. A smart person like you totally wouldn't understand what it's like. You're just going to go to a good college, work at a fancy company, and then what? At the end of the day, your life's going to be totally boring. I mean, is that seriously how you want to live? I'm not sure yet. But be that as it may, you should still stay far away from him as you can. So, you're not gonna help me. Ugh, forget it. I can make it up if I just let some customers take me out on dates after work. <sighs> Eiko, wait! I didn't want to have to tell you this, but Sukasa has been texting me almost constantly. Recently, he's been asking me and my, if me and my sister live alone, and that he'd be glad to help us out. Even today, he asked me if I'm still happy to be with my boyfriend. Listen to me, Eiko. He's not serious about you. Don't give me that crap. Sukes is so nice that he'd worry about my friends for me. Wait, you were texting me behind my back? What the hell, Makoto? It was mostly him texting me. Ugh, you have the grades, the looks, a cool boyfriend, and you seriously still want more. Sukes is all I have. You can't take him from me. Please listen. That's not what I'm trying to do. Can't yeah, right, just keep your hands off. I'd never forgive you if you stole him away, Makoto. <sighs> Sukes is all that she has. You know, I think she's exactly the kind of girl those gangs in Shinjuku are on the lookout for. Only the press girls who have no way to vent their frustrations. Actually... Eiko's family is quite well off. Her multi-talented younger brother seems to be the sole focus of our parents' attention, though. I'm sure that's why she fell for Sukasa in the first place. He treats her like she's special. But asking a high schooler for money isn't normal boyfriend behavior. She needs to realize that. You're going to help, right? Absolutely. Thank you very much. It's reassuring to hear you say that. Eiko's blessed to have both money and a family, yet she's still trying to break free from them. She's almost like the exact opposite of but... me. But I guess in a sense, watching her now is almost like looking back at my past self. I'm so blinded by my own convictions that I never stopped to consider the alternative viewpoints of the world. But that's not the right way to live. I want to show her that, just like you did for me. I can sense a deep bond of trust from Makoto. Bringing us! Into rank number 8 of the Priestess Arcana, next rank is the rank! I know she wants me to stay out of her business, but I never forgive myself if I let this come to pass. Hmm. What is the right way to live? At any rate, we're gonna catch that horrible host. I'll let you know once I've thought of how to do it. I'll see you later. Thank you again for today. I'll see you later. I feel as though we're gonna have to go to Mementos to change his heart, though I could be wrong. And no phone call. Oh. Oh, I'm glad you made it home. Oh, thank you, Sojuro. Yo, Kechi. What is this? You got any idea who the true culprit might be? <laughs> oh, yeah. You said you saw a masked guy, right? I wanted to ask about that, too. Did you really see him? That masked guy's got to be the true culprit, right? If the so-called culprit is acting alone, there can be no mistake about it. I see. The question is, who is that masked man? Unfortunately, I do not know that much. Ugh, you're useless. That is quite harsh. Oh, you make me blush. That wasn't a compliment. At any point, I have yet to grasp even any clues. But once this is dealt with, I sure we will capture him. I promise you that. We'll be counted on you. Perfect. Leave it to me. It may sound somewhat odd for me to say this, but I am an exceptional detective. I assure you, I will catch this culprit. Look forward to it. He doesn't have any clues. But he's confident enough to say he can definitely catch the guy. No wonder he's a star detective. Even the way he talks about these things is different from us. Very true. But who else has been texting? Are you free tonight? Uh, I don't know. Um, part... I mean, I've not got much else to do. And in fact, actually, I do need to go swap my DVD before I forget anymore. So we're in the area. We may as well. And I think we do one more thing in the day tomorrow. And that's when we wrap it up. And of course, tomorrow we gave us Halloween. With the little uh, decorations going on and whatnot. Uh, but we're going to rent another one, and um, we have Charmed Life or Gutsy Tension. Well, we've already maxed Calm, so Guts it shall be. 
And off we go. Into the unknown. And yes, I will child, but I will not be supervising them anymore because we no mana. But I do want to do some crime with you. I want to work and... Ooh. I thought my bomb with a Y will grow stronger soon. Um, sure. Let's see. Got a minute. All right, that's good for today. But uh, uh, there's something I want to talk to you about. It's about that secret suit I mentioned. There's more to it than having been in the Yakuza. I just want to make sure you don't go saying something stupid if you run into Karu around here. Back when I was working with a Hashiba clan, some crazy lady came around our office. Must have been ten years ago. She had this baby with her, and the whole time she was go she was there, she kept going on about how she wanted to sell it. <sighs> Figured she was just some cracked up junkie looking for drug money. But then when I told her no, she sat the baby down and ran off. That baby was Karu. <laughs> Thinking back on it, I'm still not really sure why I took him in. Not only did I have to leave the clan, but now I'm stuck running the shop I don't even like. <laughs> Every day is an uphill battle. I still haven't managed to tell Karu I was in the Yakuza, though. Why not? Let me ask you something. How would you feel if you found out your parents were wrapped up in some dirty shit? That's how my mom was. She spent every night out drinking, running around town with all sorts of guys. I couldn't stand to see her destroy herself like that. Often I wished I could have had someone else as my mom. So, I don't want to make Karu go through the same thing. I want to make sure he had a good childhood. That's why I left the clan, did everything according to code, but now Suda's dragging me back. Once he remembered I ran this fake gun shop, he came by asking me to make some custom models for him. They wasn't really asking. Bastard forced me into it by threatening to tell Karu everything. The truth is, Suda's got all sorts of dirt. Not just on what happened when Karu was a baby, but on me and the rest of my family too. Who knows what would happen if Karu learned the truth. Suda isn't going to stop there though, I'm sure he'd go on and tell everyone else he could. When it's all said and done, he's going to try and take everything I have. Shit. Before it gets out about my past, people are going to treat Karu like he's no different from me. After all, everyone knows shitty parents end up making shitty kids. Once he's got that stigma, he'll be stuck with it. When shit goes wrong, he'll always be the one who gets blamed. That's how it was with me. <laughs> That's why I turned to the Yakuza. Nobody else would accept me. That's also why I couldn't turn Suda down. It's just got too much power. She called the cops pathetic. You're so kind. Tell him what he wants to hear. <laughs> Don't give me that exaggerated bullcrap. Ain't kind at all. Anyways, I was trying to stall Suda with bullshit prototypes while so I figured a way to stop him. That bass is real good at keeping his cards close to his chest. Plus, if he caught wind of what I was trying to do and started keeping tabs on me 24-7... Thankfully, that's just about when you showed up, kid. Sorry. Sorry for bringing all that shit up out of the blue. You probably don't want anything to do with me after that, huh? That's right, don't make assumptions. I'll stick around for the guns. Yeah. <laughs> You're seriously into this enthusiast shit. Oh right, I remember I never gave you a reward for that info. You're right. How about I give you a discount on the special menu? I should keep you quiet for a while. <laughs> Pretty good deal, right? Plus, my bond with the Y is growing even deeper. And my voice there too. That that was an octave that I've not gone to before. All right. Oh, uh, don't, don't mind it though. Damn, it's late. Should be getting home. Car has been in a ton lately after cram school. We're gonna have another growth spurt soon. Anyways, I'm closing up for today. You should head home too. I feel like helping a while with his work has honed my proficiency, but we just had a chat. But I'll take the points either way. <laughs> Later. Take it easy, kid. Okay. And now, can we get him all the way? Hey, sorry for talking about that earlier. Didn't mean to get talking about that heavy shit. Gotta have to protect that secret, no matter what, for Karu's sake. You're right. Yeah, I'll do whatever it takes. Guess that's why I brought it up at all. Right now, I still don't know what Suda's next move is gonna be. We gotta stay on guard 24-7. Don't wanna get killed in your sleep, right? Alright, see you. Oh! Magnificent. Magnifique. And, oh, 17.7%. It's not looking good for us. Now, who is it? Good morning. My sister is... serious. Her determination to win this fight is reflected in that casino. She won't be easy to beat. I know that better than anyone. I want to understand our situation as soon as possible. Let's go to the palace today. Um, calm down. Sorry. Perhaps I am getting a bit too high strung, but I can't bear seeing my sister like this. We'll stop her, no matter what. If you're going by any chance, let me know. 
I'll make sure I'm ready at a moment's notice. I just want to rank 10 her before I go to the palace, if I'm being entirely honest. Um, but I need to find out about the mementos target, if that makes sense. Now everyone. Okay. Now let's begin class. Do you understand what we went over last time? Well... Ooh! Kawakami! What's this um... About? Oh, okay. Okay. Read, make infiltration stools, sleep, or study independently. Oh, it, it's a difficult one, because... I just want to get my stats if I'm being entirely honest. So, logically, it would make sense to go ahead and study. I can't believe I'm saying this. Um, infiltration tools might be beneficial, but it's like, realistically, I don't... You know? It's like, nah. I, I feel as though knowledge is probably more important to get up just so I can get the achievement for coming top of the class. That's annoying. Honestly, that was all about nothing in the end. Let's resume the lesson. I'm surprised you actually chose to study. You could have done anything. Yep. We go really owe it to Kawakami for getting us that free time. True, but you know, I feel, I feel like having that extra knowledge point in there might make all the difference. Hey. Anyway, um, talk should be a memento, so let's go. Um, so, what are your plans? Um, do we? We don't have a new mementos target, do we? Uh, which is kind of annoying. So I was kind of hoping maybe we stop the episode here, go to mementos level up, and then go to. You know, go full force on that, but it, um, am I at the wrong area for the student council room, or like, am I just on the complete wrong floor? I'm on the wrong floor, that would possibly be why. Um, I just want to see if, um, what's her face hanging around, but it doesn't seem to be the case, which is slightly concerning. Unless I'm in like the complete, I can just fast travel now, what am I doing? Um, yeah, no, so student council room, she's not here, um, that's a bit of a shame. Wanna head to the palace, new vegetables, what are your plans? Are you gonna ask me if I want to go to the palace? Um... Oh, I don't know. Um... I, I feel as though Suda is going to be... Um, is gonna require us to go to the uh, Menos and Changes heart, which... Is difficult when... Yeah. Uh, I don't... Oh, ending the boyfriend's abuse, hang on. Yeah, no, I... Hmm... Oh, that's a tricky one. But Yusuke, um, I feel as though I haven't really leveled him up much, so, um, as long as I've got a matching persona for him, I'm fine to go hang out with him, actually. So what do I plan on doing today? Let's hang Boy. out, um, slow down Yusuke, and, um, we can get closer thanks to Toth, and then it's gonna be a but, I'm gonna hang out with him. And, uh, yeah. So what does he want to do, then? It's been a minute. Hmm, this place has not changed in the slightest. It feels nostalgic. Indeed it does. I haven't come back here since I moved away. <sighs> Truth is, despite my best efforts to convey the meaning of the heart, I am no closer to understanding it. Such a troublesome robot never presented itself to me whilst I was living here. As you know, I have spent most of my young life in this very house. That is why we have come now. I wish to reevaluate myself within its decrepit walls. By going to this place, I may be able to rekindle the passion for art I once held. The passion of an inquiring mind on the hunt for pure beauty, before I learned of Madarame's foul nature. Hmm? It won't open. No, surely I left it unlocked. How could uh, this be? The door has jammed? I suppose it was quite a non door to begin with. It had begun to rust even whilst I was a pupil here. It seems now it is finally broken. Let's force it open. Hmm? I doubt you will be able to force your way through here. You must have a steady hand if you wish to fix it. I think I'll be able to fix it all with my current proficiency! Hey! Oh. Ren, you're capable of fixing it. You never cease to amaze me. Let us be off. Let us head inside. So that's why it was the bot, because we each rope walk. I see. Huh? The police confiscated everything. You know, I lived here not too long ago, yet it feels almost like the distant past at this point. Being here has brought back memories, though. Whenever I acted out of line, I was made to sit calmly in this corner. Oh, and over here was a bookshelf, filled to the brim with various tomes. It contained art compilation books for the most part, but there were a few manga tucked away as well. At times, I would take a break from my art to hide and read them. This is also where I would gather and eat when the Altier still had a large pupil count. Sensei is particularly fond of salty foods, so... <sighs> Sensei, what am I saying? Why do I still treat him as my mentor? How long will I allow him to continue to control my life? Are you okay? 
Yes, my apologies. The truth of the matter is, I used to paint in this room, and I did it simply for the joy of painting. No matter what I took as my subject, my hands would move of their own accord to capture its essence. But back then, I only saw the superficial beauty in the world. I could not see the grime beneath. After learning the truth behind Madarame's actions, though, everything changed. I strove to fight back against the newfound ugliness that I saw, to display my talent to those who mocked me. I needed to do whatever it took to validate my artistic ability. In that search for meaning, darkness took a hold of me. How could this be? Ultimately, I began to emulate that which I so deeply despised in Madarame. <sighs> you know, Boss told me something very interesting when I was staying that one night at LeBlanc. He said he didn't believe Madarame took me in for my skill alone. I suppose now that I think about it, there would be no way to know whether or not I would have been talented. Ren, why do you think Madarame decided to take me in? Maybe he was sympathetic? He somehow knew you had skill? I couldn't possibly tell you. Maybe he was sympathetic. Hmm. hmm. So we return to matters of the heart yet again. It truly is a mysterious beast. Even after learning the ugliness of his true nature, a part of me still believes in my former mentor. I simply cannot come to terms with the stark dualities presented to me. The humble house in that loathsome palace, the kind teacher and the fiendishly deceptive artist. It seems even the workings of my own heart are inexplicable. What then of my search for pure beauty? Hello? Is someone there? I'm coming in. This is a problem. Hmm. Could that be the police? Ah, I was wondering who could have been in here. You're the man from the exhibition. Indeed. Thank you for our conversation back there. More importantly though, why are you here? I couldn't help but notice the door was open on my way home from work. Are you perhaps still caught in your slump? Yes. Uh, how do you know about that? I know a great deal about you, Yusuke-kun. You've made a name for yourself by patterning your work after the beautifully detailed Sayori. But that painting at the exhibition was quite different from that. Have you been going trying out new styles? If you like, I can advise you. Materials, themes, etc. You seem as though you could use a helping hand right now. I... Most of your painting was done whilst living in this residence, correct? Your know, current lack of patron must be what is holding you back. Please, take my card. I've made a living interesting in promoting young artists like yourself, Yusuke-kun. Oh. Director of the Japanese Art Support Foundation, Akio Kawanabe. But why have you chosen me? You criticized me so harshly back at the exhibition. Because I feel you have talent. Now, my foundation can provide you an environment that will allow you to focus on developing your skills. If such a lifestyle interests you, we can talk further at a later date. As for today, I have business I must attend to, but I hope to hear from you soon. Yes. The Japanese Art Support Foundation. My opportunity may have finally arrived. It was all because you opened that door for me. It seems Kaluxia is simply a characteristic I'm of yours. In your debt. You have my thanks, leader. I felt my bond with Yusuke is growing deeper. Damn right it is. We must open a door for him. Rank six Harrison recovery. Right. As is the same on any other party member. Shall we return home? I must be going now. I'd like to thank someone some more on this. See you. Farewell. And then we're gonna get a phone call. Of course we are. I apologize, Ron. I lost my composure today. The emotions I felt in that house still remain with me to this day. I do think it's a good thing that I was able to realize all this. By the way, that gentleman, Kawanabe, was it? What's your impression of him? He has a certain dignity. I had no idea who was the director of art support, but he certainly had a presence to him. And he was even able to instantly pinpoint my weakness. He certainly is an ordinary individual. As someone with neither a home nor a patron, I couldn't ask for a better offer. On top of that, I may be able to find my way out of a foot slump once I can fully focus on drawing. In any case, this deserves serious thought. I may come to you for advice again. And with that, I think we're gonna end the episode here. It's been a while since we've done Yusuke's social link, but you know, we make it work. And, ooh, who is... Research progress, you know, we'll start the next episode off with that, but I think for now I'm gonna end it on the spooky Halloween day. So yeah, if you have enjoyed, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. It does all help it a bunch. Let's me know that you do want to see more of this and all of that good stuff. That's everything for now. Next time we're probably gonna try and jump into mementos if we can figure out what we're gonna do with Makoto social link and whatnot. But until then, with all that said and all that aside, thanks for watching guys. My name's been Naramic and peace. Out.